Hello everyone, Gabriel John Coombs here once again, getting back to my blind run of Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. In the last video, we made our way through world number one, and we fought off against Iggy, or Larry Koopa. We still haven't decided on that. I still believe it's Iggy. Anyway, moving on. In this video, we're going to make our way through world two. Load up SNES 9X and let's get started. Alright, let's begin. One. Okay, be careful of those fire things, because they're going to harm you pretty badly. And I am trapped. So I do not have a feather anymore. Star Mushroom Star, one up. And cards down by the start there. Flip over any two cards and see if they match. Miss Toys and you're out. Alright. Nope. Nah. Sugar. Three up. Nicely done. Nicely done. Ha ha ha. Two. Um, uh, there's, I've been asked quite a lot why I do the same game twice, just on different emulators and different platforms, right? Like why I do the Nintendo and then the Super Nintendo. Uh, not for the reason of just to bore you guys to death or anything, or to annoy you guys. It's mainly just for comparison of the 8-bit and 16-bit graphics. And the, and even better, when I go to do the ROM hack chaos control, for example. For example, when I go to do uh, the ROM hack Super Mario Bros. 3 chaos control, then same thing again. You can use the NES version of Super Mario Bros. 3 to compare the level designs and the graphics and everything. And... Uh, Compared to Chaos Control, right? Wait, that's it? it? Wasn't hard at all. That wasn't even like the original. The original car the original Bowser's Castle was like a whole bunch of rooms long. This one, this was only like one big gigantic room. All right. Anyway, moving right along. Ignore me, I was I'm um, I have a bad habit of talking to myself. So just ignore whatever I says. And I didn't mean to do that. And I didn't mean to become small. Oh well. Hi there, boom boom. Sorry we didn't fight you in World One. But oh well. Boom boom is defeated. Holy flashy lights, Batman. People with epilepsy problem? Uh, sorry. Okay, so.
Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Leaf. I'm not going to go in many pipes because, well, they were already shown way back when. Anyway, Boomerang Bro Battle. Yay. Joy. Come here. Ah! Sugar! Oh well. I still got 15 lives, so nah. Anyway, I'm gonna need to be big. So, I'm gonna have to waste a leaf, unfortunately. Alright. I remember this level. I wanted to hit these blocks in the NES game, and I couldn't because I wasn't big. And it kind of rotted me. Okay, that was just a leaf. Star. I will take a star. Revenge. That's right, fire chain guys. Revenge is a dish best served cold. <laughs> I wish I could say that in Klingon language, be like Sheldon Cooper. Uh, that's actually a dream of mine. It's kind of a retarded dream. But, uh, yeah, that was actually a dream of mine to be like Sheldon Cooper, speaking clean, speaking Klingon. Clean on, okay. To speak in Klingon. That's actually a dream of mine. That's actually something I want to try doing sometime, is speaking in Klingon. Anyway, moving on. Star. We're on route to a 5-up. And I can't wait to get it. Anyway, in the meantime. Ah, the, the sand part. Hi there, Mr. Sun. That's there in the corner looking very angry. Nah. Okay. Ha ha! Five up. You got a card. And a five up. Nicely done. And cards. Flip over any two cards and see if they match. Miss Toys and you're out. Aha! Nope. Okay. Oh well, I tried. So let's try this hammer bro battle again. Ha! Ah, anyway, music box. We all know what the music box does, and delayed my battle with the fire uh, guys. Anyway, moving on. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Fire flower. Four. Again, you can go up there to make a major shortcut. Again, I'm not. Because, again, we are going to be fair. That's uh, one of the main things about me when I play Mario. We are being fair. No matter what happens. Nah. And it seems already our those guys are shooting two fireballs than one. No! 
I am rotted. I am rotted. <sighs> okay then. So that means we gotta do this entire level again, even though I shouldn't have to. Okay. Ha <laughs> star. Okay. That was kind of close, but okay. Hammer bro fight. Or not hammer bro. Boomerang bro. Sorry. Didn't mean to get the two mixed up. Oops. Clumsiness has gotten the best of me. But I will not give up on this boomerang bros. Or maybe not. Maybe I will. I'm down to 18 lives. There we go. Hammer. There we go. That's what I want. A hammer. I'll come back to you there, fire bro. Frog suit. Wait, what? Oh wow, there's a frog suit here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'll come back to you, red, red fire bro. I'll come back to you. Five. So this hack was created by a guy named. Well, it's actually. This hack is created by the same person who made Super Mario Bros. 2 Second Run. Uh, Recovery 1. It's our good buddy, Recovery 1. Yes, he has created this hack along with Super Mario Bros. 2 Second Run. Anyway, moving on, we come up here like we did in the NES game. There we go. Yeah, I knew there was a mushroom there somewhere. Yes, I only came there for the mushroom. Yeah, I'm not waiting for that to come down. Star. Ah, whoops. So, the fire bro battle. I do believe there's two of them here. Yes, there is. And each of them are equally difficult. There we go. And we get a whistle for our troubles. We're never going to use the whistle, but yeah, we got a whistle for our troubles. So, moving right along, the only other level left on this map is the pyramid level. Let's go. That's right, the only other level left is the pyramid level. Ooh, hey. Don't want to die now. Hey, come back here, mushroom. Okay, we all know this maze-like structure. We've seen it before. It's the same exact structure, just in 16-bit instead of 8-bit.
Okay, so we come up here. We're only going to collect a few coins, because we're small Mario, of course. So anyway, moving on. Upside down guys move quite a bit faster than the original guys, obviously. But time it right, and hit. Go past him, and you're up. Now let's get past you, and... See if we can get one more star to add to our five up. Don't no he nope. Oh well, one up. Alright. World two airship time, baby. Oh boy, bad state of affairs for our good king. Oh it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. He's a bug. It's a bad state of affairs for him. Anyway, World 2 Airship. Might as well save here for all it's worth and just in case I die. Anyway, moving on. So, yeah, the World 2 Airship, same as the NES game, just in 16 bit instead of 8 bit. It's still, our, it's still the same old airship. Has some favoritism to it, cause I this is one of my more favorite uh, airships. Uh, just a special note: I probably won't show it, unlike showing the you know how I showed the Roberto battle back in Super Mario Bros. 2 as an extra. Well, I was kind of thinking of showing the Game Boy version of Super Mario. Rose 3, like a little extra video on that, to show the coin chip, actually. Unfortunately, Super Mario Bros. 3 corrupts on my file, for, on my system for some reason. Unfortunately. Other than that, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Next boss. Hi there, Morton. And we beat him very easily. And there we go. So, let's get our next letter. Greetings. You can stomp on your enemies using Kuribo Shoe. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. Cloud. And we're on the World 3. And that will be in the next video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on World 2. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I shall see you guys next time. Until then, this is Gabriel John Coombs saying adios, amigos.